is up YouTube? My name is Michael and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my summer favorites. So Starting off with my favorite books, a book that I really enjoyed this summer is Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. I actually mentioned this book in a few videos back and I'll try to link it down below. The two main characters are Lane and Sadie and they are two teens who are living in a world where there is a new form of tuberculosis that is incurable. So they end up being sent to this boarding school slash hospital. Obviously, they end up becoming friends and making friends with the other kids there. Reading the premise, you may think that it's a sad type of book, but it's actually really sweet and has a lot of fun and cute moments in it. The next book is The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye, which is the second and final book in the Crown's Game series. I really like these books because they're fantasy books set in Imperial Russia, so like in the past. The writing and imagery are so descriptive and beautiful. You just get swept away into this whole other world. If you're looking for a fantasy book or two to read but you're not ready to like commit to a series, then I would really recommend The Crown's Game and The Crown's Fate. Okay, so as for movies, the first one that I'm going to talk about is Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tells. I think this one came out at like the very beginning of the summer. I've always loved the Pirates of the Caribbean movies and I think this one is the fifth one. Yes, the fifth one. The last one they made with all like the creepy mermaids. I didn't really care for that one. I was really hoping that they would not disappoint with this one and I was also really happy that Will and Elizabeth were back because let's be honest, I think we all wanted them back. Or at least that's just how I felt. I was actually really surprised with the way they put Will and Elizabeth into this one. Like they didn't really have huge major roles, but I still liked how it played out and what they did with it. We can all agree that one scene at the end was very beautiful if you've seen it and if you know what I'm talking about. But I actually also really love the new characters they added into this movie. The actors all did a really good job, and what I liked about this movie is that it felt more like the original ones, like the very first Pirates movies that they ever made. I really, really liked it, and I think you know what other movie I'm gonna mention, but the number one movie that really has stood out to me out of all the movies that have come out this year is Wonder Woman. This movie surprised me so much because I normally don't really like any of the DC films and this one was just something new. I thought the plot was really good. It took a few surprising twists but it was definitely something different. It was suspenseful and it had some really great action scenes. Also, I gotta say that it was pretty cool to see a superhero movie where there was a female lead Diana was so cool and just the way that yes she was like an awesome fighter and she was like great and strong and powerful but at the same time she was also so strong in a way that came out through the way she was compassionate and caring towards people and so that's something that I also really enjoyed about that movie. A TV series that I have been like loving this summer is Sherlock and I can't believe that this year was the first time I've ever seen the series because it is really, really good, guys. And I'm almost done with season four, which is the last season. All the actors in Sherlock are great. I love the show because it's so suspenseful and it like constantly keeps you like guessing. You really have to pay attention while you're watching it or otherwise you're going to miss something and then you're not gonna get anything. It's pretty insane, some of the stuff that's happened so far. Like, Sherlock is just this crazy genius awesome person. I think one of my favorite parts of this show is just how sassy he is and he always has something to say. It's just great guys. So for music, the album that I've really been listening to this summer is Evolve by Imagine Dragons. They have so many good new songs. I seriously added like half of the songs on this album to my novel playlist and so that's what I've mainly been listening to while I'm writing. As far as Broadway musicals go, the two musicals that I have worn out this summer are Anastasia and Dear Evan Hansen. Can you like stop banging around? It's alright Taylor, you show me that every day. What? <laughs> I have always loved, loved, loved Anastasia. So when I found out that they were making a Broadway play, to put it lightly, I was very, very excited. So this new Broadway play is kind of based off the animated film, but they have basically like kind of changed some of the characters and they've taken out songs and added some new ones. Yes, some songs probably could have been like a little bit better, but overall it's really good. 
I think that if you love Anastasia, then you'll also really like this new version. I'm also really liking Dear Evan Hansen. It's more of a contemporary Broadway musical, and the songs are like, like rock acoustic maybe is how I guess you could describe it. Some songs in it to me were very relatable, so I think that's the thing that I really enjoyed about it. Some parts of it are so sad and you're probably going to cry, but I promise that it will be worth it. Top three favorite songs from this musical are probably Waving Through a Window, For Forever, and If I Could Tell Her. As far as Christian music goes, I really like the album Hills and Valleys by Taryn Wells. He has such a cool voice and also the lyrics in his songs are really great. And there's a lot of like variety on the album. There's slow songs and fast songs and songs that are more like chill. But his music has just really encouraged me so much this summer. There's a lot of good truths behind the lyrics and what he's saying in the songs. For worship music, um, I'm pretty sure you guys all knew what I was going to say, but it's definitely Hillsong's Wonder album. It's different and has like a different sound from their other albums, but I like it because overall I think the whole thing is very light and energetic and hopeful. It's more like upbeat and fast and almost like futuristic sounding. I think my top three favorite songs from this album would be So Will I, Shadow Step, and I'm gonna be basic and say Wonder because I actually really do like that song. Last but not least, two little like random things I wanted to include in this video but don't really belong in like a category are this pretty cool journal that I got like the other day. I really like it because it has like a flower theme going on and I don't know if you can tell but the pages are like gold on the end and it also kind of has the same theme as my bible. I got this bible from Hosanna Revival and I really like it because it has a lot of room to take notes. It's like small enough where I can fit it in a purse and like take it places. Also the version is ESV for those of you guys who are wondering. So that is all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. All my links are down below. I am at Michael underscore Faith on Twitter and at Michael Faith on Instagram and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I post new videos and I will see you guys later.